the next chapter uh, 54 babu la yaqul abdi wa amati chapter 1 should not say my slave male or female abdi regarding to the male and amati uh, when it's female يقول في الصحيح عن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال لا يقل أحدكم أطعم ربك وضئ ربك وليقل سيدي ومولاي ولا يقل أحدكم عبدي وأمتي وليقل فتاي وفتاتي وغلامي The Prophet صلى الله عليه said One of you should not say feed your رب He refers here to the رب as my uh, master or owner, right? Because Rabb linguistically, you can say Rabb al Aila or Rabb al Usa or Rabb al Bayt, right? The Rabb of al Bayt, the Rabb of the house, meaning the owner of the house. This is absolutely fine as linguistically is concerned. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Rabb of all things, He is the owner of all things. So the Prophet ﷺ here again to protect the perfection of the Tawheed. Not to say words that can uh, lead the person to uh, imperfection of the Tawheed. Even if the person doesn't mean that. So the Prophet ﷺ is saying, do not say, At'im Rabbak, feed your Rabb, feed your owner or your Lord, help your Lord in performing ablution. Of course, he does not mean Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he means the owner of the house. If a slave is speaking, he's talking to his master or so on, he should not even say that, although he means the literal meaning of it, still it's not permissible as the Prophet ﷺ said that, do not say that. Why? Because of to, pro to protect the Tawheed, so that the word Rabb is said like that to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, uh, so that even words does not يعني, cause any form of, that it leads to anything that would يعني, uh, cause any uh, imperfection to the Tawheed. Is it permissible to use the word Rabb or not? It is permissible to use it if it's in the proper context. It's mudaf to something, like Rabb al-Bayt, right? The, the owner of the house, there's nothing wrong with that. And it's even mentioned in the Quran in Surah Yusuf. Uh, but if a, if a person, uh, in that case it's permissible, but it's definitely better to avoid it completely. In that context here, at'im rabbak. Feed your lord, your Rabb. This is definitely something to be avoided. right? But if you make it very, very specific, to a specific place or that refers to a human being, it's better even to be avoided, but if a person says it, definitely it's less than uh, keeping it uh, open like this. Waddi Rabbak, give wudu to your Rabb. Wal yakul, meaning my master, feed your master instead of Lord. Uh, instead he should say, Sayyidi or my guardian. And one should not say, my slave, Abdi, or my slave girl, meaning Amati, but he should say, my uh, Fata, Meaning, my, uh, my saying that, lad, my lass, fatati, and my boy, right? My boy, what they say, ghulami, right? Not to say my slave and my abdi because to protect the tawheed, to protect the oneness of worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the heart, that the hearts do not use similar words that when it's referred to the relationship between the slave and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So again, it shows the importance of words we say with our mouth. So that people do not belittle what is being said. Right? You hear that so many times, as long as the intentions is good and all of that stuff, right? It's okay. No, it's not okay. Our intentions has to be sound and pure. And our words have to be sound and pure. And anything that we say or actions done by outside appearance, it affects the heart. And if we don't perfect our speeches and our actions, it would eventually affect the heart and it might cause the person to fall what is even worse and worse, right? And the opposite also way, if a person speaks what is nice, even if he doesn't feel the effect of it in the heart, eventually by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that would affect one's heart and so on. Uh, so it shows here clearly, the benefit is that it's not permissible for us to, word, to use the words that can mean uh, any forms of shirk, and it shows that in the deen of Allah, anything that leads to shirk, has been forbidden, right? So that people don't think that the shirk is not going to happen in this ummah, to see the perfection of the deen of Allah, that the Prophet ﷺ warning the believers from anything that would lead them to shirk. And the Prophet ﷺ informed them of the alternative, right? And this is a good thing to be done when a person is telling someone not to say that, then say instead of it something else. We see the relationship between that and the tawheed.